Hello, we would like to tell you something about our European Cultural Route project. My name is Soila Palviainen and I'm a project coordinator in this Singing Route project. My name is Pekka Huttuhiltunen, I'm the director of this uh, project and a researcher in Runosang Academy. So a little bit background about these cultures, cultural roots. Uh, these are so uh, um, founded first in 1987 and the first cultural route of uh, European Council was named the Santiago de Compostela. Nowadays there are um, 38 different routes in, in different themes in the whole, whole Europe and in this year uh, there are 16 more appliers who want to be a new routes. Finland joined in this uh, so-called enlarged partial agreement of cultural routes of the Council of Europe in, nine, uh, in 2018. So that gave us a good kick to start to do this our project. But these cultural routes of Council of Europe, um, they have many many different uh, perspectives. It's first of all it's an invitation to travel at least and, and find out what kind of uh, uh, Europe we nowadays have and what we have had. But it also puts into practice the European uh, values like a human rights and cultural diversity and, and intercultural dialogue and the mutual exchange uh, across the borders. Cultural route can have tangible or intangible elements and what it uh, needs is this international network so only one country cannot um, make a own own cultural route of Council of Europe it need, needs at least three different countries and of course this European theme so uh, this is how we have started the at this stage, the name of the route is Intangible Cultural Singing Heritage Route. Uh, the most important cultural theme is the culturally important singing heritage and singing traditions which exist on, on, in every country of, of, along this route. Uh, and here on the map you can see that it starts from Finland, goes to the eastern border of Finland, across the Finnish Gulf, to Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. The main operator in this preparation project is Runosan Academy, but a strategic, strategic uh, partner of us is, is Runon ja Rajan Tie Association, Via Karelia Association, which in the future would be the maintainers and, and administrator of the whole route. So we are trying to make a network of four different countries, Finland, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. And uh, later it, it's possible that there would be also Russia, because uh, this Ingria area is also uh, belongs to the uh, Baltic Finnic culture originally, and there are Runosan tradition also in this area. So maybe in future we are trying to uh, add Russian participation into this this uh, route. And as you can see, there are different kind of lines, uh, also these this, uh, dotted lines uh, from uh, even in the north to the Sami area, which is uh, maybe we hope that in future, after we have got this certification, we can also think about adding Sami culture into, into our rules. And in, here in Baltic countries there are many sites and, and uh, destinations which are culturally interesting and that's why there are uh, alternative routes. So, about the singing traditions. First of all, Runosong tradition in Finland, uh, Ingria in Karelian Republic and also in Estonia is uh, very fundamental to, to Finnic cultures. Uh, in Estonia there is also Setu, uh, Lelo, 
uh, tradition, singing tradition in the south of Estonia. In Lithuania, Sutartines, which is already in UNESCO international uh, list. And uh, singing celebration is in all Baltic countries. When we think about European values, democracy and, and civil society, so the singing uh, celebrations is very essential, as we know. Uh, the Balts have made the singing revolution, and, and uh, singing is very important in that sense also. Also many side themes. Uh, sauna in Finland. Uh, I think that smoke sauna in Estonia is already on the list, but sauna is now the first element, cultural element, which is uh, uh, applying uh, status of, of to the UNESCO international list. Uh, war memories along the eastern border of Finland and also in, in Baltic area. They, are, they can be seen and they are interesting. Uh, also the Western and Eastern Christianity meets in the area. For instance, in Finland we have a monastery of uh, Valamo, the new so-called new Valamo, and on the eastern side of the border there is the original Valamo in Ladoka. Uh, lake and uh, of course food, uh, handicraft and these kind of things also are important side themes to this rule. Uh, also uh, museums, culture centers, festivals and so the, uh, along this route uh, they, uh, there already exist quite many which are concentrating some of these Themes, either ma main theme as as uh, Songmelo festival, for instance, and uh, uh, Key House in in Finland, but also other culturally important festivals and events uh, which are along this route. So then, when we actually go on in this um, project, then we have to develop this cultural route, there's lots of criteria and, and i tell a little bit, little bit about this process. Uh, so uh, all these countries which are now coming, hopefully, together, they have to define the theme and, and let's uh, find it like very important to all of them that they come, to come together. And uh, these heritage elements has to be identified and as I said they can be tangible or intangible that's that's okay and then uh, we have to create a network which has some kind of legal status so that we can operate so maybe get some fundings and so on and as it said at least three different countries has to be um, with this whole thing then Later on we have to, to go coordinate all kind of uh, common activities together and, and also ensure that we have a common visibility for this route well, but, and, and the coher coherence of the project across the Europe. These are the main, main things what we have to do when we go on. So this theme, themes criteria, they must satisfy in all the following things here. So the main European values and this research and, and development, European memory and history and heritage, uh, cultural and educational exchanges for young people, and cultural tourism and sustainable, sustainable cultural development. And we don't forget this development of tourist products. So all these must be uh, satisfied when, when we are applying for the route. So what we are going to do uh, this year, uh, we are just uh, making the network, uh, both on national and international level. Uh, for instance, us in Finland, we have uh, meetings in all different areas uh, along the route, and uh, now we are preparing also uh, meeting and workshops in, in uh, countries, uh, Estonia even in September and later on in Latvia and Lithuania also. The most important question in this international uh, negotiation is to define 
first the, the, the basic things uh, along this route and, and who is going to represent uh, the country in the, in the uh, association or in the, in the organization which is uh, taking care later for the whole group. So uh, these are happening this year and of course later on we have program also to the next years. So uh, this is a little bit like a picture of all the big, um, all, all this family, this big family group what we are hoping to get in every country. So this networking team in every country should have uh, people from science and research, culture and creative field, uh, of also from tourism side and also area development and, and the local. The local people are also very important. Cultural heritage and uh, as I said the youth, the youngsters, they are and, and, and school children are also very very important persons in this whole project. And if we get all these um, network teams in every country, then we uh, try to create this kind of uh, association. Yeah, uh, so here you can see uh, illustration of, of the future so that there would be uh, within this blue uh, square there is the core organization which is association or something like that and there would be two or three representatives from each country so it, it the, the organization which is uh, responsible for the route maintenance and development and in each country there would be uh, a wider network of everybody who is interested and who wants to be in cooperation with this route so there can be enterprises organizations and the, everybody who is interested about developing this this kind of cultural tours so uh, it's uh, uh, there are many layers in the in this organization and you can see that uh, it's open to everybody who is interested so it's it's not going to be something closed uh, society but open to co cooperation so this is a short um, introduction to this cultural route, intangible cultural singing heritage route project, what we are now uh, started. Thank you. Thank you.